Hello. So in this video, I'm going to talk about um, Eric Hobsbawm and something that the historian Eric Hobsbawm argued. So Eric Hobsbawm was a British Marxist historian. He died in 2012. And in his lifetime, he was probably one of the most well-known historians um, in the world. He's probably most well-known for these for these books. So The Age of Revolutions, The Age of Capital and The Age of Extremes. Um, and the the line that I want to talk about, the thing that Eric Hobsbawm argued, which I think is really, um, really interesting from, from a historical point of view, is the following. So I'm reading from the Age of Revolutions here, which covers the period 1789 to 1848, the Age of Revolutions. And Hobsbawm, in this work, argues, he's talking about the Industrial Revolution. So this is about the Industrial Revolution, which, you know... As a teacher, sometimes people people don't think this is the most exciting time, it's the most important thing to be learning about, but this is what Hobsbawm argued. He said, by any reckoning, this was probably the most important event in world history, at any rate, since the invention of agriculture and cities. So the Industrial Revolution, the most important event in world history. Okay? Um... In, in another work, he, he talks about this again, uh, this work, Industry and Empire. Um, he says, the Industrial Revolution marks the most fundamental transformation of human life in the history of the world recorded in written documents. So Hobsbawm is basically arguing the Industrial Revolution is probably the most important event ever. Um, and I think this is really interesting. When I read this, it really made me think, what, what else might we have up there? And it really makes you think about the criteria. How is he judging that? So in terms of the number of people, perhaps, that are affected by this, in terms of the widespread impact, if you think about the Industrial Revolution and its impact on not just Britain, not just Europe, but the world. If you think about um, the the number of people, if you think about the changes to people's lives in terms of work, in terms of um, where people were li living, demographic change. So is is Hobsbawm right? That's the question. What, what do you think? Are there criteria that he's maybe missing out? One line of argument might be, is this a bit Eurocentric? Are there, are there other events, other revolutions, other times in world history where it, something happened that was more significant, had a more widespread impact? Or is Hobsbawm right? Do, thing, do those other things perhaps lead back to the Industrial Revolution? Um, so let me know in the comments. I'm really interested to, to hear what, pe what viewers of this channel think about this. Was Hobsbawm right about this? Um, just on a, on a side note and just a kind of bonus tip here, if you're interested in the Industrial Revolution or even if it's not something you've necessarily thought a great deal about, I would strongly recommend listening to the BBC and Our Time episode on the Industrial Revolution. And there's a moment in it where um, Melvin Bragg gets, gets his feathers ruffled by a historian when they're talking about why it happened in Britain the way it did. Um, I'm not going to give away what happens, but I'll put a link to it in the, in the description because I do think it's worth checking out that episode so i hope you find that interesting uh let me know what you think about hobsbawm's line of argument there about the industrial revolution and if you've got any alternatives for the most significant event uh in world history uh let me know i'm really interested to know what you think okay thanks for listening